Hey there, you've probably seen those jaw-dropping viral hood effects all over social media just like we do. So futuristic and cool and today you are going to learn exactly how to create one yourself. Don't worry if this seems advanced, it's easier than it looks and like always you can find our project files down below. Let's make some sci-fi magic together. We'll start by creating a new composition in our project panel and dragging in our footage. Now with the footage selected, I head to the tracker panel. If you can't see it, go to the top menu, hit window and enable it from there. Once you've found it, choose the 3D camera track option and let After Effects do its thing. And when the analyzing is done, you'll see a bunch of tracking points scattered across your footage. But here's the thing, your average error number might be a little bit too high. Not ideal, right? To fix it, we're gonna clean up those tracking points. Remove all points on the moving objects like your body and keep only the ones on stable surfaces like the table, wall or other static elements. Work through the timeline in 10 frame chunks until everything looks solid. And just like that your average error number should drop drastically. Feeling like a pro already. Let's keep going. Next up we need to set the ground and origin. Right click on the tracking point that's flush with the table or ground then select set ground plane and origin. Right click again on the same point and create a solid and camera. Scrub through your timeline to make sure that your solid is tracked smoothly and if it looks good we can continue. And now for the fun part, create a new composition with the same settings as your original comp. This is where we'll design our HUD elements. You can make them from scratch or grab pre-made assets online. Just like we did, we found some amazing ones on Storyblocks. And once you got your elements, bring them into a new composition and turn each layer into a 3D layer. To add that we're going to offset these layers in the Z space. Open up the position property for each layer and start spacing them out. Keep the bottom HUD at zero, move the next one to minus 50, the third one to minus 100 and so on. For a better view switch to the two view layout and trust me this will make the positioning much easier. Now let's animate these HUD layers. Mine already have some cool scale and animations but I'm adding an extra touch by animating their Z position to make them feel like they're flying towards the screen. Next if your HUD elements aren't the right color, just slap on a fill effect and recolor them. We went with orange, but you do you. Once your HUD comp is looking good, go back to your main comp and drop it in. Turn it into a 3D layer and enable the collapse transformation button. This sun icon right here. But what does it do? It brings back all the original 3D positionings of everything inside the HUD comp. Now place and rotate your HUD to fit the scene. I've got mine hovering over a loop deck controller. Hit play and boom. It already looks slick, but we're just getting started. You know what else is slick? Downloading animated templates straight from the plugin into After Effects. This is the Storyblocks plugin, by the way. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Besides downloading templates, you can download any stock asset you need. It will then literally appear in your project panel and boom, it's that simple. Storyblocks' curated stock library has everything you need to create high quality videos in one place. With over a million 4K and HD footage, templates, music, sound effects, images, and more, you can download unlimited high quality assets for one predictable subscription cost. That means you can say goodbye to expensive paperclip pricing. Enhance your social media videos by accessing exclusive Storyblocks label music tracks directly in TikTok, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. Storyblocks will keep you protected from copyright strikes so that you can focus on what actually matter and that's creating. Now besides that you can save hours with pre-made motion graphic templates for After Effects, Premiere Pro, Apple Motion and DaVinci Resolve. To get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, head over to starblocks.com slash After Effects Basics. And now let's continue with our HUD effect. Okay, let's add some glow because a HUD without glow is like pizza without toppings. Planned. You can use After Effects built-in glow effect, but I prefer optical glow from Max and Red Giant for the extra pop. Apply it, tweak the settings and watch your HUD come to life. For even more flair, duplicate your HUD layer and add a CC light burst effect to the bottom copy. Aim the light rays upward with the center property for that iconic sci-fi shine. Then tweak the other settings to your likings. Now here's a bonus touch, adding glow to your subject. Normally I'd use real lights during filming, but hey, post-production fixes everything. Duplicate your original footage, then use the rotoscope tool to isolate the subject. If you want to learn more about rotoscoping, check out the video 
on top somewhere here. Next, add a fill effect in the same color as your HUD, orange in my case, followed by a simple choker to tighten things up, shrinking my rotoscope person, and a fast box blur to soften the edges, which I cranked up to around 45. Then set the blending mode to add and animate the opacity to sync with your HUD's reveal. Boom. Time for the most exciting thing, swipeable screens. Create a new, very wide comp. Mine is 7680 by 1080, and in this new comp, I drop in four video clips. Our old YouTube videos were great for this. I align them vertically with the align tool and space them out horizontally to make sure they are positioned equally over my comp. Next, I add a null object, parent all the clips to it, and animate the null's position to match your subject hand gestures. Quick tip, temporarily bring in your original footage to sync the animation, then delete it once the timing is perfect. Bring this new screen comp into your main timeline. Of course, make it a 3D layer and position it where it belongs. Next, let's enhance it with some effects. First one is the CC lens. This will give it a slight blending effect, making the screens have more depth. I increased the size, lowered the convergence and used the center to determine the blend. Again, I add a glow effect, but this time I kept it subtle. Then to finish it, I added the chromatic aberration effect from Max and Red Giant. But this is just a minor detail, so you can skip this one if you want. Now let's clean up the look of the screens. I don't like the fact that the entire screens are visible. That's why I will be removing the edges with a track mat. To do that, I duplicate my screen comp, remove the glow and aberration from the top duplicate and add a gradient ramp to it. For the ramp, I make it a radial ramp with white in the center and black at the border. As an extra touch, I also added an in animation, making the black going from the middle to the side, revealing the white center. Now with the original screen comp, I will use the track mat pick whip tool to parent it to my gradient screen, using this as a track mat. And voila, the screen is only visible through the whites of the gradients, making it all look a lot cooler. And lastly, if you want, you can also lower the opacity of the screen comp to make them more see-through. And there you have it, a futuristic cinematic HUD effect, ready to go viral. Of course, also add some sound effects to really sell the vibe. If you want more tips and tricks on everything there is to know about After Effects, click the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.